Hi guys, this is what you've been waiting for. This is the new Odroid C1. Now I'm just going to take you through a quick unboxing session, see how this looks. Then we'll run some comparative tests between this and the Raspberry Pi. And we'll see which one comes out on top. So, first of all, I'll just introduce you to the packaging. Nice little branded box here. It's pretty sturdy. We'll pop that open and we'll see what we've got. Okay. Now, in this pack, I've got both operating systems. So, I've got the Android uh, 4 OS, and I've also got the Linux Ubuntu 14.04 card as well. I think I'm going to use the Linux one primarily for the tests, uh, but I'm going to do some tests with the Android version as well, just to see how fast everything actually boots up with it. So I've also got this uh, nice little outer case as well as part of this bundle. Uh, of course, all, all of this is optional. Um, usually, what you just buy would be the uh, the board itself. Uh, nice bit of branding on it. Looks like the I/O pins are actually on breakout, so that's good. Uh, means that if you don't want to use them, you don't have to. But they are a lot more accessible. Uh, one of the things I found with a lot of the commercial Raspberry Pi cases was that the I.O. section was just usually covered up completely and if you wanted to actually use them you'd end up having to uh, either modify the case or build your own. Okay, so we've got HDMI cable as well. Um, I'll get to that in a second. And we've also got power supply. And this is Wi-Fi adapter. So that's um, again, optional extra, I had to buy this separately. And this itself is the, uh, is the board, this is the, uh, the bit. So, nice bit of Android branding on the, uh, on the outside. I'm going to just pop that open now. And just pop the anti-static bag off as well. And here we are. Right, so first thing I need to make clear is that this power jack um, is not the micro USB like on the Pi. So you're going to need another power supply for this. Uh, fortunately, I did actually purchase this one as well. Right here. I've got a, it's a barrel type power connector. So it's about 2 millimeters out of diameter. Plugs into this connector right here. Now there is a micro USB here, but it's specifically not for power. It's uh, what's called a USB on the go connector. So hopefully that should mean you'll be able to slave it to a host PC and transfer files as you would with a memory card or a memory stick, for instance. I haven't tested that yet, but that's what it says in the blurb. Uh, next to this you've got micro HDMI. Now, it's smaller than even the mini HDMI connection that I'm used to. Um, it's about 5 millimeters across, so you are going to need a different cable for it. It's what's called a Type-D connection. Now, fortunately, I have got that one here as well. And as you can see, it is quite a bit smaller than your standard HDMI. And just to show the connectors next to one another. Alright. Now on this side you've got your uh, RJ45, this is actually a gigabit LAN, uh, so that's a bit faster than the Pi. You've got your four USB sockets, of course you can use anything for that, mouse, keyboard, memory stick. Uh, on the opposite side you've got an infrared receiver actually built onto the, uh, the board itself, so if you're looking to use this for an XBMC build, um, where you'll be using the remote control, this is obviously going to be ideal. Uh, there's also connection for a real-time clock backup. Uh, this connector right here. And then you've got this connector, which is actually a serial port. So, in theory, it's got a lot more industrial application than even the Raspberry Pi. Uh, similar to the Raspberry Pi, you've got your GPIO. It's 40 pins like with the Pi Plus rather than the original B. Um, so if you've got an old IDE cable lying about, you'll be able to use one of those and um, and put that directly onto the, uh, the connector. And on the back of the board, you've got your micro SD socket. That's what we're going to primarily be testing it with. 
but there's also a socket for EMMC modules which improve upon the access speed. Now, I'm not going to use those for this test because um, we're going to be doing comparison between this and the Pi, so the Pi doesn't have that connector. But uh, if we just check that one later, perhaps on a different video, we'll see the, uh, the comparative boot up speeds. Right, so that's the unboxing dealt with. Uh, next video what we'll deal with is a couple of comparison tests between this and the Raspberry Pi and uh, we'll see where we go from there. If you're looking to purchase an Odroid board you can actually buy them directly from our website www.lilliputdirect.com Alright guys, see you later.